Well, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Miguel Angel Lopez Martinez, aerospace engineering in air navigation students. This video is for the telecommunication for air navigation subject, and it's about aeronautical phraseology. Here is the table of contents. Firstly, I'm going to show some basic concepts such as alphabet, numbers, standard words and phrases, and how a communication begins. Then, read back information, and finally, shower specific phraseology examples. To start with aeronautical phraseology, a key point is the aeronautical alphabet. We can see here alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, and so on and so forth. Moreover, numbers pronunciation is important because they differ from the usual numbers, like nina. It is important in both letters and numbers that the sounds will be the same whatever the speaker's natural language is. Said that, let's start with another basic concept in aeronautical communications. Once someone wants to transmit, it is necessary to say the destination station name, and then the name of the calling station. For example, if I am Alicante Tower and I want to speak to an Air France 325, Air France 325, Alicante Tower. Whenever possible, some standard words and phrases with a specific meaning must be used. Acknowledge is used to let know that the message is received and understood. Affirm, approve. Break indicates the separation between portion of the message, while break break indicates the separation between two messages to different aircraft in a busy environment. Cancel, check, clear, confirm, correct, contact, correction, disregard is to consider that transmission as no sent. Go ahead. Monitor is like listen to a frequency. Negative. Out means that this exchange of transmission is ended and no response is expected. Over means that that transmission is ended and I expect a response from you. Readback is repeat, re-clear. Report is to pass the following information. Request is to wish something. Say again. Roger is like receive. Wilco means will comply. Stand by, verify, speak slower. Words to eyes is used when communication is difficult and each word is repeated two times. How do you read means what is the readability of my transmission. Afterwards, I will use most of these standard words or phrases in some examples. There are some messages which feedback is mandatory for the crew, like for example, taxi level change, heading, speed, operative SSR instructions, frequency changes, transition levels, kind of radar service, BDF information, runway in use, routes or airways clearances, approach clearances, any clearance related to the runway, altimeter adjustments. Now I'm going to focus on tower specific phraseology, and we are going to see different tower situations from the beginning. So let's start with departure information. If there are not AT services, when the pilot requests airfield information, the controller answer is going to be runway, wind, temperature, visibility, and runway visibility range if necessary, and q &H. And the readback from the pilot should be runway and q &H. So let's see an example. Alicante Tower, Air France 325, request airfield information. Air France 325, runway 10, wind 130 degrees, 0, 05 knots, temperature 0 degree, dew point 0, 09 degree, visibility cable gate QNH 1001. Runway 10, QNH 1001, Air France 325. If there are 80 services, the pilot says information alpha, the controller is going to change the ATIS information if there is a new one, and it's going to tell the QNH. So let's see an example. Iberia 435 with information alpha. Iberia 435, monitor information Bravo QNH 9995. Once the pilot requests a TC clearance, the controller will answer. Control station clears aircraft to a specific destination via flight plan route, a terminated standard departure, and a squawk, and if necessary, a slot. So let's see an example. Air France 325 requests ATC clearance. Alicante Control clears Air France 325 to destination Madrid Barajas by a flight plan route. Astro 1 Alpha standard departure climb 5000 feet, squawk 6102, slot 1125. Madrid Barajas by a flight plan route. Astro 1 Alpha standard departure climb 5000 feet, squawk 6103, slot 1125, Air France 325. Air France 325 ATC Corvette. 
understand the pilot to request pushback, startup, or bot. They can be approved on this question, negative, or unable. So let's see an example for each other. Iberia 251, pushback and startup. Iberia 251, pushback and startup, approved on this question. Easy 206, negative. Expect one minute delay due to Cessna 112 taxing behind you. Scandinavian 183, unable to approve clearance due to slot spike. Request a new slot. Once the pilot is ready to taxi, it's going to request taxi instructions. The controller should give instructions such as taxi to holding point by a specific route, the runway q and and in complex airport, more detailed instructions are needed. Airport 325 request taxi instructions. Airport 325 taxi to holding point Alpha 4 by Abra Bogey, runway 10 q Alpha 4 by the Bravo runway 10 Q and 8 1001 Airplane 325. Once the aircraft is reaching the holding point, three different instructions will be done depending on the situation. Hold short, ready, line up and wait. Now we are going to see four different examples. Airplane 325 reaching holding point runway 10. Airplane 325 hold short runway 10 due to Boeing 737 on short final. Holding short runway 10, Airplane 325. Iberia 251, report ready for departure. Easy 206, are you ready for immediate departure? Scandinavian 183, line up and wait, runway 10. Line up and wait, Scandinavian 183. So, once the pilot is ready for departure, the controller is going to clear the aircraft for takeoff. It should be done by indicating the wind. Q&A if necessary, then clear for takeoff and the runway. So now let's see an example. Airplane 325, wind 180, wind 05, north Q&H, clear for takeoff, runway 10. Clear for takeoff, runway 10, airplane 325. For an instrumental flight rule arrival, the pilot is going to report his position, usually around 10 nautical miles on final and it is going to be cleared to ILS by the approach controller. Then the tower controller says the wind and QNH, and tells to the pilot to continue with the approach, and if needed by the controller, it is going to request to report a specific distance to a threshold. So now we are going to see an example. Engine 10153, I the tower to my final clear ILS runway 10. Egypt 153, wind 120, wind 05 knots, QH 1001, continue approach, report 5 miles final. QH 1001, continue approach, we report 5 miles final, Egypt 153. Egypt 153, wind 120, wind 05 knots, runway 100 to land. Runway 100 to land, Egypt 153. For a visual flight rules arrival, the pilot is going to report its position before entering on the aerodrome traffic zone. Then the controller is going to tell the wind and QNH information, and is going to authorize to join the visual corridor, if possible, and if necessary, is going to request the pilot to report when reaching some points, and also is going to give him traffic information if necessary. Later I will explain traffic information phraseology. Now we are going to see an BFR arrival example. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo, I have the tower reaching working. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo, wind 110806 North Cunis, Triple Niner, Join Visual Corridor Report, India and Sierra 1. Cunis, Triple Niner, Join Visual Corridor will Report, India and Sierra 1. Once the aircraft is going to reach the visual circuit, if the tower controller does not authorize the pilot to join right down wind, he must orbit over Sierra 1. But if not, he will join right down wind runway 10. Then the aircraft will proceed to right base and afterwards to final, where the traffic controller is going to clear the aircraft to land. Also, if the aircraft requests to perform touch and go, it will be authorized to touch and go, and then will be established on right upwind and then on right crosswind. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo, reaching Sierra 1. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo, join right and wind, runway 10. 
Roy Darwin, Runway 10, el coche de Río Pedro y Maromeo. Turning right base, Runway 10, el coche de Río Pedro y Maromeo. El coche de Río Pedro y Maromeo, report final Runway 10, Vista 90, leaving the runway. Final Runway 10, el coche de Río Pedro y Maromeo. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo, wind 120 degrees, not clear touch and go, runway 10. Clear touch and go, runway 10, Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo. Now let's see how traffic information is given to the pilot. First, the type of aircraft is set, then the aircraft actuation, for example, in opposite direction. And finally, where is the aircraft? This information must be provided to all aircraft involved in this situation. Afterwards, both pilots should confirm that they have traffic inside. If not, the controller will request to the pilot to report when they have traffic inside. So, let's see two different examples. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo copy traffic information. Cerna 172 on opposite direction in right and wind runway 10 will proceed to 01. Traffic inside. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo. Echo Charlie Hotel Lima Romeo. Echo Charlie, Hotel Kilo Oscar, copy traffic information, Vizca 90, on opposite direction in Sierra 1, will join right and wind runway 10. Traffic inside, Lima Echo Hotel, Kilo Oscar. Echo Charlie, Oscar, Papa Charlie, you are number 2 behind point 737, on short final runway 10, caution with trouble smidges. Number 2 behind point 737 inside, copy with trouble medium. Echo Charlie, Oscar, Papa Charlie. Once the aircraft lands and is ready to vacate the runway, instructions must be given to taxi to their stand. If needed, the aircraft can be told to expedite runway vacation, or vacate by a specific taxiway due to traffic conditions, or due to work in progress. This information should be given in the following way. Echo Charlie, Hotel Kilo Romeo, vacate runway first possible at your right. Vacation runway by a Charlie 2, Echo Charlie, Hotel Kilo Romeo. Echo Hotel Lima Papa Romeo back in runway by a Charlie 4 due to work in progress in Charlie 2. We back it by a Charlie 4 Echo Hotel Lima Papa Romeo. Echo Hotel Charlie Lima Papa expedite back in runway due to traffic on final. Expedition runway back in Echo Hotel Charlie Lima Papa. In all cases, a conditional clearance must be done in the following order and must have the following information. The call sign, then the condition, and the clearance, and finally, a short description of the condition. Iberia 2 faxes report the white Airbus 320 on final inside. White Airbus 320 inside, Iberia 2 faxes. Iberia 2 faxes behind the Airbus 320 landing lineup runway 10 behind. Behind the landing Airbus 320, line up runway 10 behind Iberia 256. Iberia 256, correct. Before leaving the control zone, aircraft must change the frequency to the approach one. Let's see the difference between contact that is used when the pilot must communicate with approach controller and monitor that is when the pilot only should listen to approach frequency for more information. Echo Charlie, Hotel Lima Romeo, leaving CTR via Whiskey Point. Echo Charlie, Lima Hotel Romeo, monitor approach 120 decimal 4. Approaching 120 decimal 4, Echo Charlie, Lima Hotel Romeo. Iberia 256, contact approach 120 decimal 4. Approaching 120 decimal 4, Iberia 256. Once any pilot reports any meteorological effects experimented such as wind shear or important information like flow covers near the runway, they must be reported to the following aircraft in the following way. First the effect, then where is this effect taking place? After that, who reported it? And finally, when was it reported? So let's see two examples. Aircraft 735 on final runway 10. Air France 735, wind shear at 1,500 feet, 2 miles by now, reported by a Boeing 737 at 1,345. Copy wind shear, Air France 735. Iberia 261, lining up, runway 10. Iberia 261, flock of birds over threshold runway 28, reported by Airbus 320 at 1,415.
Capit block of verbs, Iberia 261. Finally, it is to remark that it is not always possible to use the established phraseology, because there are situations like emergency situations where every situation is different, so standard phraseology must be adapted to these situations, in order to get a better understanding between pilot and controller. Now, I'm going to show an emergency situation and its recommended phraseology, taking into account that every emergency situation is different, as I have said before. Maybe, 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 Echo Charlie Oscar Papa Charlie, Charlie will suffer a best strike and one of the engines is on fire. Echo Charlie Oscar Papa Charlie proceed at your discretion to land runway 1 zero. Echo Charlie Oscar Papa Charlie report those on board will remain in and land your cargo. Two souls on board, 100 feet remaining and no danger of cargo. Echo Charlie Oscar Papa Charlie. Echo Charlie Oscar Papa Charlie, there is a fire truck waiting to assist you. Wing 110 away 05 knots, runway 10 clear to land. Clear to land, runway 10, Echo Charlie, Oscar Papa Charlie. Finally, I would like to thank to CATS from Carlos III University the use of its simulator facilities and personnel. This work has been performed by Miguel Angel Lopez Martinez, aerospace engineer in inner navigation student of Rey Juan Carlos University.